All right, so let me show you what I have for lunch today. Let me take this off. So lately, I've uh, been trying to eat these uh, really starchy, nourishing meals. It's winter and it is, I mean, it's like in the 30s when I get to work in the morning, like 37, 38, and it's like, it was 70 yesterday when I went home. Um, but still, it's cold and, I'm, and I'm, I'm loving these like really fully meals. Today, I brought in with me my uh, starch solution uh, Caribbean rice. It's right out of the book. I have a link for the video right here. Um, this stuff is so good. Uh, I used to go to this place called Rumby and I would get the Rumby rice and it was loaded with coconut milk and all that, but I just loved all the stuff in it. And this is, this just kind of reminds me of that, but you know, there's no coconut milk in it. It's made of butternut squash. It's absolutely delicious. This is really filling. Um, lately, this is one of my favorite rice, rice recipes. It's made with two different kinds of rice, with uh, brown rice and with wild rice. This is so good. One of the things I love about this, I mean, obviously you can't see it, but it's like loaded with beans and squash and different rice. I love the red beans in here. It's so like, it, it really is a Caribbean uh, flavored dish. Like it's got that style. Um, I love Caribbean uh, rice and peas, uh, which is rice with uh, red beans in it. And uh, this just kind of reminds me of that. Mm. So and then I've also got my broccoli. Uh, here's what I do with broccoli. I just make it really simple. I go to Costco and I get these frozen bags of broccoli and it's a big bag for like $6.99. I don't know how much it is. And you get four bags inside, four one pound bags of broccoli. And you throw them in the microwave for seven minutes and you heat them up a bag at a time. And I, I heat up all four bags at a time in the microwave, not all in the microwave at once, but I do all of them. I heat them all up and dump, I strain them into a strainer. I dump them into a bowl and then I just throw on a bunch of uh, dried onions, uh, sriracha, uh, sesame seeds and some garlic salt and mix that all together and that's all I eat and the bright the broccoli turned out to be really tasty without any cheese sauce or any of that on it and it's a great side dish so um, to me this is how I eat broccoli so I guess the latest on this whole job thing as a teacher you know I was only supposed to be here through the first quarter which was the uh, first week of October and of course <laughs> I was here all last semester right and the new semester started I'm still here and as far as I know I'm here at least through uh, the end of February, early March. And it's, I mean, I can't imagine that they're gonna take me out in March, right before the end of the year with these kids. I mean, they've been attached to me for you know, months, the whole year. So I would have to guess I'm here for the whole year. <clears throat> and now, you know, it kind of makes me wonder because uh, I didn't plan on working, you know, anytime soon. I mean, I'm you know, still in college and all that to be a teacher, but, um, and it makes me wonder just because now, when this year is done, like, am I gonna come back next year? Like, am I gonna be invited back? And will there be a spot for me? And what if this guy comes back to work, right? The guy I'm covering for, um, where do I go? And I mean, I, you know, I was fine not working, just being house husband. But uh, now that I'm here, I really can't imagine myself not doing this. So I have kind of am starting to get some anxiety about that as this year progresses, we're in January. Uh, we have four months of this year left, then we're on summer break. Um, and I would like to continue with what we're doing here. Um, even with math, I absolutely love it. So I'll keep you guys updated on that if I hear anything, but so far it's like negotiations going on, um, but nothing concrete, uh, but I would like to stay here. All right, I just finished all of that food and I am like stuffed. That rice dish is really filling the so much in it. Between the squash and the beans and the rice, the two different rices, like it's a lot of food. And I, I pack it in those little glass containers. So it's a lot of food. I'm gonna force this pear down. Um, I'm not gonna eat again until I get home. And then even then I gotta go to the gym first with Lex because he's in this, he's in this gym thing now. Um, and I don't, wanna, I don't wanna deter him in any way from that. So I wanna support that. Uh, you know, at 15, who knows how long he'll be into that. So I'm eating a red pear, um, and that's going to be my last part of this meal. All right, folks, so those are my recipes for today. Uh, really good. I'm really full. And right now I'm filming this in the beginning of the uh, January 21-day uh, starch challenge. So I'm doing really well on that. I'm just staying focused, and, and these filling meals are helping me just, like, stay on it. Um, they're curbing my uh, cravings, and I'm doing well. See you tomorrow. All right, I am starving. Let's see what I've got for lunch today. So uh, let me get rid of my mask here. 
Uh, one of the things I've been eating this week because I, I just filmed the meal prep video for the week. Um, so I don't, I don't know, that'll probably be out before this. Uh, I made some um, starch solution fried rice and that is such an amazing meal. Uh, it's fried rice, right? But it's cooked, um, you know, uh, without the oil. It's just water sauteed, the vegetables are water sauteed. And uh, let me move my water bottles out of the way here. And uh, it's absolutely delicious. You've got all the flavor of the, the veggies and the rice and the soy sauce. Um, absolutely delicious. So let me give this a shot here. I've got a video right here on how to make that at home. It's really simple. It's just some, uh, some overnight rice, which is rice that you, you, know, you cook in the Instant Pot or whatever, and then just leave it um, overnight in the fridge. Uh, and then you stir fry your vegetables and throw the rice in and it's all ready to go. So check out that video and uh, it's, it's amazing. Mm. I'm gonna give you a shot of everything I'm eating today. I don't think I'll be able to eat all of this, but let me show you what I'm eating. All right, I'm gonna move the phone around so you can kind of see all this here. All right, there you can see I've got my fried rice, right? It looks really good, right? It's absolutely delicious. Here I've got some yellow and green squash that we've cooked in the air fryer. Uh, that again is one of the food prep video I did. So it's just some uh, squash with some spices on it uh, in the air fryer, that's all it is. And then I've got some fresh pineapple that Tim cut up. So I'm gonna have that. And then I've got some fruit here. I've got a, a sumo orange and a banana. And I've got my two bottles of Berkey water right here so I can stay dehydrated. Um, this beard thing is driving me crazy. Like, I just stopped shaving because, I don't know if you noticed, but you watch my videos, my face, it's always this blotches all over it, and that's from shaving. And I always shave right before the videos. So every time I film a video in my kitchen, my face is blotchy. It drives me crazy, because I'm like, oh, it doesn't look like that normally during the week. Wow, you know, what do I do? So I've just kind of stopped shaving to avoid that. And it is just a nightmare. So I was not meant to have facial hair. It's just so hard to, I mean, it just itches all the time. Um, I've got a mask on at school, so right now it's not so bad, but uh, you know, the kids don't really kind of see the difference, but I, it's gotta go. So hopefully it'll be gone the next time I do one of these lunch things. All right, so the rice is really good. I'm gonna dig into the squash here. Um, air fryer, squash, perfect pair, right? Mm, good. The thing with the squash is, you get kind of a cooked, uh, not crunchy, but cooked texture on the outside of it. But then when you bite into it, because they're kind of thick, the inside is still nice and soft, right? And the whole thing, the spices are just coated nicely on it. So Tim made this, he did a great job on it. I've been eating this fresh pineapple since Tim cut it up on Sunday. I love me some fresh pineapple, like juicy, sweet, so good. Mm. That strong, juicy taste when you bite into a fresh pineapple. It's it's just delicious. I love me some fruit. All right, that's my lunch for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, it's another day and another lunch. So today I'm really excited about lunch because I got some food I absolutely love. And along with the food that I prepare, prepared, um, I got some dessert today, one of my favorites. I'm walking out of the house and Tim's like, oh, I made you a surprise salad. And I'm like, a surprise salad? Like I have my greens already, I'm having broccoli. He's like, oh, I know, but I made you a nice salad with dressing. I'm like, oh, I'll right, take it. So looks like I have a lot of food today. I, there's no way I'm eating all this, um, especially with this big surprise salad. But let me get to uh, some of the things I've got today and I'm gonna show you uh, what's all in this, okay? So let me switch the camera around. I'm, I'm gonna through all this. Uh, let's do that now. All right, don't laugh. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, today I'm really excited about lunch. I've got my Instapot uh, baked beans here, and these are like barbecue beans. I just made this recipe. I made a video for it. It's, uh, there's a link right here, uh, and give it a try. It's really good. It's all made in the Instapot uh, from Easy Ingredients. Then I've got just some uh, frozen broccoli from Costco that I sauteed in a uh, skillet, and I threw in a bunch of soy sauce and some uh, garlic powder, so I'm looking forward to that. And then Tim made me a surprise salad, so here it is. And oh, look at all those cucumbers, right, which I don't like, of course. And then I've got some dressing. It looks like a balsamic dressing that Tim made. Then I've also got, uh, as a dessert, some dates pitted, uh, and I've stuffed it with PB2, uh, peanut butter, and then I've sprinkled it with uh, some sesame seeds, and kind of, it's like a, a Snickers bar, a whole food plant-based Snickers bar. 
And if there's very much, I eat these bananas, um, and I doubt I'll get to that. And that's what I'm having today. Right, so the beans are just my uh, Instant Pot baked beans over rice. And I just kind of stuff this. It's just starch and starch. It's really good. Oh my gosh. Mm. So good. So you can't see this, but two of my students are over here. <laughs> and they're watching me. They came in to hang out with me. And I'm like, I'm filming. And they're like, oh, we'll sit down and watch. So they're kind of hanging out here, but I can't show their faces, of course. Um, but it's Layla and, uh, and Angie, two of my favorites, and uh, two of my favorite girls. No, because then at the school, you, your parents could complain. They'll be like, give me a film. I've been on YouTube before. <sighs> yeah, but some of your French parents. Um, so I've got that going on. Uh, so the Instant Pot baked beans, this came because, you know, I make all my own beans and then Tim would just, uh, come home with like cans of Campbell's baked beans. I'd be like, we're not eating that. They're full of oil and, and stuff. So I just started making my own in the Instant Pot. That's kind of where this came from. It is an amazing recipe. It's absolutely delicious. All the flavors of barbecue baked beans, but all whole food plant-based. Um, there's, you know, no fat except whatever comes from naturally from the beans, no added fat. Um, and totally like starch solution combined. So if you're eating a high starch, low fat diet like I am, then uh, this is definitely, you know, one of the options for you. So good. All right, you can't see it, but in addition to Layla and Angie, uh, JC joined us also, but we're not gonna show anyone on camera, right? Um, so now I've got like a crowd. Now I'm filming in front of a live studio audience, right? Which I normally don't do. Yeah, thank you, thank you. All right, so guys, this was really, really good. The barbecue baked beans, absolutely delicious. So I'm this broccoli. I already ate a few pieces. The broccoli, again, is just uh, stir-fried. All I did was take that frozen broccoli from Costco, the big bag you get, and I threw it in the uh, skillet and threw a bunch of soy sauce on it so it's really salty. Um, and that's it. And that's all I'm eating. Mmm, so good. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is really funny. <laughs> My students are like, this is really funny. So, um... So I'm gonna eat this and then we'll try a little bit of the salad. All right, so the broccoli was really good. I'm gonna try the salad Tim made. It's a, it looks really nice, bunch of tomatoes and all the stuff I don't like. Uh, um, cucumbers and some other stuff. And he put an apple in here, which is probably brown from yesterday. Bless his heart. All right, let's see. And there's some type of dressing that looks really good. I'm gonna make a fan of balsamic dressing, but okay. If your husband makes it, you gotta kind of try it, right? All right. It was made with love, so that's all that really matters. So I'm gonna try this, and but I, I ate like that whole thing of broccoli, so I shouldn't really, I mean, I've already got my greens in, right? Yeah, did you guys, did you guys know, right? Are you like, well, how do you get your calcium if you don't eat, drink milk, right? Uh, leafy greens, full of calcium. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh, there's your reading bell, isn't Can it? Can you excuse me out of reading, please? Excuse you out of your next class? Oh my god. I hate that. You guys gotta go to your next class. That's it. Sorry. Oh, that I can't so excuse weird. you. I'm not, I'm not even no. Oh, no, 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 no. Say, say that we're busy doing They don't wanna tests. leave. The bell rang that way. You're not busy doing it. Okay. <laughs> oh, go ahead, go. I'll see you in seventh period. What? Is there cameras in here they wouldn't know? Oh my god, well the people online would know. Alright, they're gone. The read the bell rang for their reading class, so uh they had to go. Oh my gosh, guys, trying to film with people in here, it's just so crazy. They're like giggling and laughing and they won't leave. I'm like, I'm filming a video. They're like, oh, we'll just hang out. I'm like, no, you gotta go. They're like, no, no, we wanna watch. I'm like, okay. All right, so I'm trying the salad. The dressing's really good. Wow. All right, so this is what I've been kind of waiting to get to. These are my favorite. I just got four medjool dates here, right? You kind of see them right here. Um, they got pushed down, all squished together in the uh, container. But it's a medjool date stuffed with PB2, right? And sprinkled with uh, uh, sesame seeds on top. That's it. So I, this is from one of the recipe books. I forget which one. It's called a, uh, like a whole food plant based Snickers uh, bite. And it is really good. Wow. Mmm. So good. Wow. This gives me all that sweet satisfaction I'm looking for like all in one shot. All right, that's my lunch today. This is my typical lunch. I'm trying to eat, kids coming in and out. Uh, this is my prep period, so they all have classes, but my seventh graders actually have lunch during my prep period. So they take every opportunity to stop by during their lunch to say hello or to chit chat with me or just hang out in here and play video games on their phone or whatever. So it's kind of a common occurrence. All right, it's been a great lunch. I got a lot to do today and it's, uh, 
you know, the court is coming to a close here soon, so we're, we're like scrambling. I'll see you on my next lunch, and hopefully I'll be eating by myself this time. All right. All right, another day, another lunch. Let's see what I have today. So this is kind of funny. I've got <laughs> a lot of bananas here. I always bring two bananas with me. I sometimes have one for lunch, and then I'll have one uh, like at the end of the day, seventh period, and then some, maybe if I don't eat it, I'll um, eat it on the way home to pick up Lex, right? So I'm not hungry in case he's hungry. A lot of times if I don't eat my fruit, then the kids will eat it in seventh period. They'll be like, do you have any snacks left? And did you eat your lunch or whatever? So, you know, uh, I go through both bananas, but today I have a third banana because <laughs> one of the kids brought me a banana and it says my name on it, uh, Mr. Troxel, uh, from who is from uh, Kells and Tone, Tony. Uh, and then on it, it says, uh, what does it say? Have a good day, a good uh, vegan, no meat. I don't know. So now I've got a third banana. I don't know. First, um, I'm starting with uh, spring roll. Let me see if you can get close up here. That's my spring roll, one of my spring rolls right there. You can see the veggies coming right through. There's some lettuce in there, there's some cabbage. I've got some cilantro in there, some carrots. I've also got a whole bunch of uh, ramen noodles in there. Um, you can see here if I turn it around, right? Oh, I've got some sprouts in there too. I don't know if you can see that, but I've got some uh, microgreens uh, mixed in there. You see the carrots in there. That's looking really good. And then if I come over here, this is my my uh, PB2 like kind of peanut sauce. I'm gonna dip them in, right? And then over here, I've got my sweet potato all kind of broken up and I'm gonna eat that the way it is. And then of course, I've got my fruit, my orange, and I've got some water right over here. All right, can't wait to dig into this. It's, this sweet potato smells so good. But first, I'm gonna have spring rolls because I love me some spring rolls. So the first bite, I'm just kind of dip in and eat it, but then I'll use a spoon to start, to start uh, getting the sauce on there. And this is made with PB2 powder, so it's like got one gram of fat for the whole thing. Yeah. Do you have any students? I do. A student just walked in, so hang on. All right, see if you can take a look at this, right? Look how great that looks. Look at all those veggies in there, right? I mean, that is so, that's like the rainbow. It's so pretty to look at. You see that? All right, so then I take my spoon and I Pour a little on here, like maybe a lot. And I take my next bite. Mm. All right, another bunch of girls just walked in. Word is out that I'm filming my lunch and now they're all kind of running in. Um, when I make these uh, spring rolls, I, I do all the ingredients in the food process. If you can see there, I've got like little pieces of cabbage, little pieces of, uh, you know, the red cabbage, little pieces of uh, carrot. And I just take a whole bunch of them, like take a whole bag of carrots and I put it through the, the slicer or the, not the slicer, the shredder on the food processor and so and I shred it all. I do the same thing with the carrots and I shred all them. So I make a bunch of it. And then now we made this last night. We're gonna have spring rolls every night for probably the next five or six days and probably for lunch. So I make enough of that to eat those spring rolls every day for a long time. Because I don't wanna get, you know, I, Every time I make spring rolls, I don't want to have to start shredding carrots one at a time and then shredding cabbage and cleaning the lettuce and all that. All I want to do is like grab some fresh lettuce and wash it off and then grab my fix-ins as if it's like a salad bar, right? Just put all my stuff in my spring rolls and roll it. I don't want to prepare all that stuff every single time because that gets annoying. So that's what I'm doing. That's how I do this. I have a video on how I make these right here. So check that out. It's a video. It's an older video. So I look a lot different in it. Uh, but Tim and I make them in this video um, and we use some different noodles and we actually put tofu in them, which is really good. But right now I don't need tofu. Um, so check that video out and you can see all about how we do this. But I'll put the recipe for, uh, for these spring rolls and for the uh, peanut sauce on the, the blog, plantbasedads.net, when, uh, when this video releases. So you can go there and print the recipe if you want. <sighs> These are just absolutely delicious. I, I love eating. It's, it's First of all, it's raw, so I love that because I don't get a lot of raw food, and it's so fresh. All right, so for my uh, sweet potatoes, I decided to take one of those bananas and chop it up and put it right in my sweet potatoes. I love the taste of sweet potatoes and bananas together. They really complement each other very well. So I'm going to have a little bit of this. The hot sweet potato and the banana just goes really well together. All right, let's see if I can do this without making a mess because it's uh, not going to be pretty. Mm. Oh! So good. Mm. I don't know if you can see this, but I've got like peanuts in there, right? Like whole peanuts. Well, some of them are chopped, but some of them are not. It really makes this good. All right, guys, that's my lunch for today. 
an amazing meal with uh, spring rolls and sweet potatoes and some bananas. I'm not gonna get to the orange until later. I may not even get to it. Someone will probably grab it in seventh period and eat it. But that's what I've got. It's been a lot of fun today. I'll see you at my next meal. All right, hey guys, happy Friday. This is the last day of the work week for me. It's the last day of the marking period too. So the quarter ends next week, but all my grades have to be in uh, by Monday. Lunch. I just got a really simple lunch today. All right, so here I've got my uh, Instapot Pinot beans, and I'll tell you about those in a minute. And then I've got uh, just some white rice over it. You can see how good that looks, right? It smells really good. And then I've got some different things in here. I've got some cilantro that I'm gonna put on top. And then under it, I don't know if you can see that, but I've got some microgreens, okay? I've just thrown them in a little plastic container. I'm just gonna to toss it right on top of my meal. And I'll eat that together. And then I've got a banana. Um, I had two bananas, but I already ate one. And, you know, my water's right there. So, I mean, that's everything I'm having today. All right, so I'm just going to take my cilantro and throw it on top here and take some of my micro beans and just kind of throw that on top here just to have some greens with this. And I'm going to try and incorporate that into my meal here. It's kind of gone all over the place. And that's what I'm eating for lunch. And that's it. Give this a try here. It smells really good. Mmm, it's hot. So the marking period is going to end today. That means that my grades have to be in, um, and then the quarter will end next week, and then I'll be back for the fourth quarter. It is hard to believe that I'll have been here for the entire school year as the math teacher for these kids. I could not have predicted that happening, so that's just amazing. Um, a lot going on, so hopefully I'll be back next year. We'll see. This is really good. I have a recipe for these beans right here. This is my uh, Instapot refried beans recipe, except in the video, I make refried beans out of them. I cook them and then I take the stick blender and I put it in the Instapot and I blend them for refried beans. And <clears throat> lately when I make those, I do that with half the beans. And then the other half of the beans, I don't blend because I like them just as beans and that's how I eat them. I've been trying to incorporate more like microgreens um, and sprouts and all that stuff in my food. So that's why I'm doing the microgreens in here. I think it's really kind of a good place to just add them in. It really has no effect on the taste. It tastes no different than, you know, if I didn't have the microgreens in there. So I think it's kind of a perfect little place to sneak some of them in, right? Ooh, that was good. I just love beans and rice. I mean, I know, I know I basically had rice every day this week, but I mean, I just make an instant pot of it in the beginning of the week and I'll just like triple it and I'll just eat it all week. So. Uh, it just really works out for me. It's been a really good week of food for sure. All right, last thing I have left is this banana, and I'm gonna eat this for sure, because uh, this should be, you know, this will give me the extra oomph I need to make sure I stay full until dinner, so I don't snack. This will do it right here. This is the last thing I have in my lunchbox today, so the kids aren't gonna be able to get any of my food in seventh period, which is what they do. Also, in the uh, three quarters I've had this job since uh, August 2nd, when we first started the first day of school, I've never eaten anything at this school. I've never eaten anything from the cafeteria. I've never brought food in uh, that was fast food or anything. All I've ever eaten while I've worked here is whatever I brought from home. Um, and I know with teachers, that's really tough. A lot of them uh, just eat. And well, one of the things I see is people are heating up like their lean cuisine and they put it in the microwave. And I swear, it's this big right and they're heating that up and they're like oh what do you have and i'm like oh you know i've got like caribbean rice or uh, you know i've got uh you know uh barbecue baked beans and they're like oh my gosh that smells good and i'm like oh and what do you got and they're like oh i've you know got a little lean cuisine and i'm like is that your appetizer like where's the rest of your food right and they're like no this is it and i'm like that little thing like that's your lunch so like if I ate that little link cuisine, I'd be stopping at like Taco Bell and getting, you know, two, two bean burritos on the way home. So that right there, that's exactly why I bring my own lunch because trying to, to manage something from here or bring, you know, something refrigerated that's processed like that and eating a lot less of something just makes me hungry later on. And then I really just fall. So. You'll see during these videos, I like stuff myself with lunch. In fact, like yesterday and the day before when I had lunch, I'm, I'm telling you that I'm so full I can barely move on. Like I can't eat any more of my food. It has to be that way, right? Because if it's not, then I'm gonna eat it on the way home from a fast food restaurant. I know that. So the whole time I worked here, that has not happened. I've been right on the money with this and 
I just bring my own food. So teachers, if you're listening out there, you can do this. Make food over the weekend. I have a family. I have a kid. Like, I know. I have a YouTube channel, too. Um, I've got a lot going on, right? So it's not like I have an easier life than you do. I'm doing just as much. Um, you can do this. Make your own food. Bring it with you. Be prepared and bring enough of it. Stop doing these microwave uh, uh, lean cuisine nonsense. First of all, there's nothing healthy in there. Second, there's not enough food in there to satisfy you. I hope you like this video. Please hit that like button. Show us some love. What's not to like? Five days of lunches, right? Teacher edition. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. You'll get notified every time we have a new video, usually every Monday. And please leave a comment below, especially if you're a teacher. I mean, what are you doing? Are you bringing your own lunch? What are you bringing? I would love to see your ideas. Uh, I'm open to trying new things. Um, I hope to have some uh, new meals that I'm making uh, during the week to bring and, and show you. Um, and I'm working on some different things just to kind of keep it interesting. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>